Sends it along and leaves it here for Pridham. Pridham with speed down the right wing side. Gets to the red line, deflects that puck in. Knocked down by a buck, but Pridham back to it in the right wing corner. Tried to center a pass in front that was knocked down. Norland right, point to the net, scores! Isaiah Norland with the shot. Cal Hughes was in the area. Not sure if he got a piece of it, but it's going to be a marker, and I believe it's going to be Hughes that touched it home. And the Warriors on the, just the third shot of the game pick up a 1-0 lead. The shot by Norland deflected in by Hughes. Goal number 23 on the season for Cal Hughes. Back to the right point now for Brooks. Across left wing side, it goes Cohen. Midpoint feed for Brooks. Held it on side as he throws it back down to the left wing corner. Here's Lockberg back behind the net. Oakenfold will gather the handle now. Works out right circle. High slot. Cohen to the net. He scores! Sean Cohane with goals in back-to-back -back games. Finds the back of the net from the left circle and a great pass from the corner by Johannes Lockberg. And the Warriors double the lead and take a 2-0 advantage in the opening period. Fifth of the year for Cohane and goals in back-to-back -back games for the Buffalo Sabres prospect. As Cohane got that puck in the right circle and fired it past the glove side of Braden McIntosh. You know, you have the potential here with Cranbrook or a team like Mare. They haven't seen the playoffs in a while. Shot from the left side by Caden Kempcare and Hummel knocked down. Nice job by Norland to hold that puck in, and then he lost it on his backhand and brought the other way. Blackley drop pass. Here's Capasso scores. <laughs> Nick Capasso has his first BC Hockey League goal with a shot from the left circle that found its way through the legs of Rorick Appleby and in, and Capasso gets the marker to make this a 2-1 game. Shot from the left wing side by Capasso, and finds its way. Caron did a good job to knock that down. Here's Nordstrom down below the goal and left circle for Caron to the net. Steered away. Now Nordstrom up with it. Right point, Hildich. Back along now, Karan, high slot. Here's Nordstrom delaying to the net. That goes Karan. He's off the post and now banked in. That puck at the front of the net, and I think it might be Felix Karan that's going to get credit on it for his 29th goal of the season. A bouncing puck in front that Karan was able to put to the goal, went off the post, and then banked off a buck defender into the back of the net. So Karan's going to get his 29th of the year as McIntosh made a save. Taken back here by Cranbrook. Ernest to the slot, a shot. Another save by Appleby. Rebound forced loose to the right side. Sucro, 115 to go in regulation. At the blue line, holds it on side, but the loose puck comes free for Pridham. Fed it ahead now. Karan to award the empty net. He scores! Felix Caron, his 30th goal of the season, and his second of the third period, and the Warriors ice this one and lead it 4-1. to one. Felix Caron, 30 goals on the year. As he finds the empty net on a stretch pass from Jack Pridham inside of the defensive end. Puck will come loose back at center. 15 seconds to go here in the third period. Worked back in by Capasso, and it is taken back by Cohane, back behind his goal. Five seconds to go here in period three. Up the wall right side, trying to get to that was Flint as that's put to the net and steered away, and that will sound the buzzer. This one is over. The West Kelowna Warriors sweep the Kootenai weekend. Felix Caron, two goals in the third, including his 30th goal of the season. Rorick Appleby, 30, saved for win number 23 on the year. And the West Kelowna Warriors win their 31st game of the year in a 4-1 victory over the Cranbrook Bucks here tonight at Western Financial Place.